I know at Edinburgh, there are so many options, right? You're inundated with, with so many shows to see and, and all kinds of things, like not even just shows, right? Performances and acts and clowns and, you know, all the things. Why come see Breakup Addict? Well, I play over 20 different characters during the show, including the voices in my head when I am on dates with people, when I'm inside of relationships and something, we get into a fight or something happens. So uh, it is absolutely laugh out loud, LOL, entertaining. And it's also really educational. So it not only will make you laugh and feel things, but it will also leave you with a sense of, wow, you know, like that felt like therapy or wow, I didn't know that about myself. And I know a lot of people don't go to the theater for that purpose, but if you're really interested in personal growth and personal development and learning more about yourself and learning to love yourself deeper, this is the show to see. Hi, I am Paige Wilhide. I am the writer, star of, and producer of Breakup Addict. And it is a solo show where I play over 20 different characters, including the voices in my head and some of my ex-boyfriends. If you want to learn more, watch the show. After Hollywood Fringe, I'm like, okay, what's next? You know, like what's the next step here? And I really feel like there is there is a lot of momentum with my show Breakup Addict. And um, it's I'm feeling energized about it. I'm feeling ready and and really want to ride that momentum. So I'm taking it to Edinburgh Fringe Festival in August. I'm going to be performing all of August, which is very different than Hollywood Fringe. So um, Edinburgh is a daily performance at the same time every day. So I'm going to be at 4.30 every day at the Gilded Balloon Teviot location uh, in Edinburgh. And it's August 2nd through 27th are the dates. So literally throw a dot, throw a dart at August and uh, you'll be able to come see Breakup Addict in Edinburgh. I think when, when there's like a really true piece of art that comes through you, it can't be ignored. And that's kind of how I ended up writing writing breakup addict. So I um I went through two quite tumultuous uh heartbreaks uh back to back with very unavailable people. Like they were they were very different but also had so many similarities to these two these two situations. And um and as I was realizing that there was like that I was the common denominator in both of those situations, I was like, okay, I need to change something. It's not them. It's like, what can I change in order to uh, in order to be better and have better relationships? So I started going to uh, meetings as part of a twelve step program for sex and love addiction, and I worked with a sponsor, and my sponsor told me that for the first 30 days, I was not to interact with any love interests at all, which generally for me are men. And um, so I was in withdrawal from my favorite drug, men. uh, And and I did that for 30 days and then 60 days. And it really took me into uh, an identity crisis. Like I I realized that I had, it's like I had piled my identity on top of this idea that I am valuable, I am loved if a man loves me, if somebody else approves of me and likes me. And um, and when that like peace, when that like core belief crumbled, everything else did too. So I spent a lot of time in isolation. I was in a depression. I was eating a lot. I was like just trying to find other vices to kind of like like fill the the void that I didn't have because I had all this, you know, I was not talking to men. Um, And during that time, I started writing like that was another that was a way that I that I really tried to cope with some of these feelings. And I wrote down my stories. I wrote down what I was going through. Um, And then I met my coach, Jessica Lynn Johnson, and she helped me piece all the puzzle pieces together into into a solo show. And um, and I really channeled all of that, like excess power and, and energy that I would have just put out into the world into like trying to be in a relationship or get love or sex, like all that energy I could now channel into my art and into Breakup Addict. So Breakup Addict opens with me, my character of Paige, uh, sitting in a 12-step meeting in her very first one. And 
is having a uh, is kind of seeing herself for the first time in a really uh, eye opening and painful way and seeing like, oh, you all are sex and love addicts. And I think I might be too, but I don't want to be. And so there's like that that admission that starts the show. And then it travels through different stories, how she got there, um, and then eventually like looking at some of her patterns in relationships. And the, th- the thread of the story is it tracks through the 12 characteristics of sex and love addiction. And even if you don't consider yourself a sex and love addict, even if you um, don't consider yourself an addict in general... The characteristics of sex and love addiction, I think, are something that everybody can relate to in some way or another. Um, So so those are really ways that I like to use. um, They're like um, they're like pillars that I like to use throughout the show anchors to support people in seeing themselves and their own patterns and their own relationships in my story. So it tracks through that and then eventually um, you know, I I come to a realization that I need to be on my own for a little while. And I and I make like a really hard choice to set boundaries with some of these men and to to really take care of myself and go on a self-love journey. And it kind of comes around the other side for me, uh, me like loving myself again. It's really my hope that every audience member walks away feeling changed in some way. And when I say changed, it's like, it's like, oh my God, Paige saw a part of me that I have not wanted to talk about or share or, or that I didn't really want the world to see. And she put, she gave me so much love and approval for that thing that I can now work with it. I can now like take that, you know, that deep fear that I had that I would be alone forever. This is just an example, but like, you know, that deep fear that I had that I would be single and alone forever. And I can now share that with somebody or I can go get therapy or like I can work with a coach and get some support Um, or I can like read a book or listen to a podcast. Right. So so I want people to walk away feeling like a part of them got really touched and and fully seen and loved in, in my show. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, that would be, that would be like the greatest gift ever. You know, what I've, what I've uncovered on my healing journey is we heal when the parts of ourselves that feel the most unlovable are seen and fully loved. So the parts of ourselves where we feel shame or we feel guilt for walking away from that relationship or we feel so alone because everybody around us is engaged and getting married and having babies and we're still single. So these are just some examples. But, um, you know, it's like the, the the little tiny parts of us where we feel like we, that we can't love fully, right? Healing happens when someone else gives us permission to love that part. And that is, that's ultimately what I want to create with this show is giving parts, giving people permission to love parts of themselves that they previously would be hiding or ignoring or trying to run away from. Um, And I think that really, that is how you take pain and turn it into power rather than taking pain and suffering, you know, choosing the suffering route. This is like taking pain and turning it into power. I did that through my show, through writing down my stories. You know, I I was in such a dark time and um, I really alchemized that into this beautiful, like moving piece of art. And and I think the art is just going to continue living on, you know, it's going to have its own, um, its own, it's going to be, become its own body of work. I don't know exactly how, cause I, I, it's, it's not up to me anymore. You know, it's really up to like the people who see the show and, and the people who are moved by it and what they get from it and being able to like carry on the message. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, it's like, really, can I, 
Can I love the parts of me that I think are the most unlovable? My, my desire for when I am on stage during Fringe is to be so fully present in my body that I'm not thinking. That I am just like letting the lines and the characters, oh my gosh, I'm getting chills and like tears are coming to my eyes as I'm thinking about this, but like just letting it move through me in the most present way. Like there's, um, I talk, I talk about higher power and God and the universe, you know, in my show and being connected to spirit. And I think one of the reasons that I love performing so much is because that's when I feel most connected to spirit is in that, in that moment. And so, yeah, my hope is that I really get to fully be out of my head and fully just like channel the, the art through me. If you've ever experienced heartbreak if you've ever been in a relationship where you are wondering where you went, if you've ever left a relationship wondering who you are, uh, anybody who's dating, it's like, like this is this is really for people who feel like they are wanting to be seen in their relationships and in their dating life. Um, You must go see Breakup Addict if you have ever been through heartbreak, if you've ever walked away from a relationship and wondered, what happened? Where did I go? Who am I now? How am I going to rebuild from this place? Uh, If you've ever been dating and You wake up and you're like, what am I doing? You know, how do I do this? If you've been resistant to dating, if you've um, ever been scared to put yourself out there and be vulnerable with somebody, this show is for anybody who is in relationships, wants to be in relationships, has just come out of a relationship. It is uh, a really powerful way to be entertained, right? You're going to laugh. You're going to feel things. You're going to cry. It's a really entertaining play that also will leave you with something. It's like, you're not just, you're not just going to a play for 75 minutes and then you leave and go to dinner and like forget the next day. This play like lives on through you. Um, and, and it will continue to, to bring its lessons and bestow its gifts upon you as, as you're digesting it, you know, after the show. And, um, and I really encourage you to bring a friend to it so you can talk about it after, because there's so much to get and, uh, and you definitely won't regret coming to see Breakup Addict. When I first thought about going to Edinburgh, I was like, no way. (laughs) Like, that's too much. That's like, I'm going to die. I think I might die uh, performing that many times. And then as I thought about it more and as I was sharing the show with people and doing a few like preview performances here in LA, uh, what I realized is that this message needs to be out there and needs to reach as many people as possible. And truly, I see so many opportunities for the show to go like a hundred different directions in terms of what it can offer audiences. So um, Edinburgh is the place for me to, to like actually really hone the show, like perfect the show, get to know it in a way that, that I don't yet, you know, and I can't even see at this point. Um, But not only that, it's also a way for me to, um, explore what's possible, you know, to explore what's possible with the show and, and where it could go from here. Um, and the other thing is I get so inspired by other artists. So to be around some of the top performers in the world, top theater performers, top actors and singers and clowns and, you know, every every performance artist uh, who's who's got just like oodles of talent bursting out of them um, for the opportunity to be around people like that in a community like that. 
oh my gosh, like that's that's so worth it. Like I I can't not go to Edinburgh. You have to come out and support these artists. There is such a range of talent. I'm blown away by the amount of talent that is in this festival. The amount of uh, offerings, the, the the different types and flavors and varieties of shows, different lengths of shows, different styles, different kinds of people. Uh, it is, it's, yeah, it's a transformational experience to be able to have access to all, like this this entire uh, array of of performances and live theater. And listen, we've all been so digital, you know, we've all been like caught on our computers for the last few years and, and in our homes and the, the magic of live theater is something that we were not able to access when we're on zoom, you know, when we're like in the virtual digital world, there is a, there is an unmatched magic that is created inside of a live theater experience. And you have an opportunity to go to that and to see it and to experience it and to like let it inspire you and your art and move you. So see as many shows as you can. It is, it's going to be a wild, fun time. I'm Paige Wilhide. I am the writer, star of, and producer of Breakup Addict, which is going to be at Edinburgh Fringe Festival all of August, August 2nd through 27th. Uh, so come see me at the Gilded Balloon Teviot. I will be in the billiard room every day at 4.30. You can get your tickets at the Edinburgh Fringe website, or you can go to breakupaddict.com to get your tickets and come say hi to me after the show.